My name is Jazz and today I'm going to be reading to you Marie Curie, written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vergara and illustrated by Frau Isa. When Marie was a little girl, she made a vow to herself. She was going to be a scientist and not a princess. And here she is watching some ants. Marie was from a poor family, but she was very smart. At school, she won a gold medal for her studies, which she kept in her drawer like a treasure. Okay. Marie couldn't go to the same university as her brother. In her home country, only men were allowed to study, but she wouldn't take no for an answer. She packed her bags and moved to France. And so there's Marie boarding a train to Paris. Even though studying in a new language was not easy, Marie soon became the best maths and science student in Paris. And here she is answering some questions. One day, Marie met Pierre and happily, he loved science just like her. Soon, Pierre and Marie loved each other too. They married and became Madame and Monsieur Curie. And look at them working in the lab together. Hidden away in their laboratory, Marie and Pierre discovered two incredible things, radium and plutonium. It was such a thrilling moment for science and they're happy and celebrating. They won a Nobel Prize for their research. Marie became the first woman to receive this honour. As you see, Pierre's pretty excited at seeing Marie win that award. One day, Pierre suffered a terrible accident and poor Marie was left alone. Poor Marie. Marie wiped away her tears and worked harder than ever. The audience applauded loudly the day she was awarded her second Nobel Prize. Clever woman. A terrible war broke out. Marie's discoveries were used by doctors to help injured soldiers. So you can see x-rays to see where injuries are. After the war was over, many girls followed in Marie's footsteps, studying at her Parisian Institute. She had valuable advice for every student. In life, there is nothing to be afraid of, only many things to learn and many ways to help those in need. And there's young Marie with her books, ready to change the world. In the end, I hope you enjoyed uh, our story time. Thanks.